Hi, I'm Anna Timmerman with the LSU Ag Center. I'm one of the horticulture agents here in the greater New Orleans area. Today I want to point out something that we should be thinking about this time of year, although it becomes more of a problem in the fall when we go to pick our citrus fruits. Have you ever been gifted or picked a brown orange? It's a very common problem in our area and the brown coloration or bronzy coloration on the fruit won't wash off, but the fruit inside is perfectly edible. This condition is caused by the citrus rust mite. And unfortunately in the fall when we're actually harvesting our citrus, it's too late to do anything about it. But now in May is the perfect time to do something about the citrus rust mite. This is a satsuma tree here behind me. And as you can see, we've got this year's crop of satsumas starting to form. They're about marble or pea size, and that's the perfect ideal time to start thinking about citrus rust mite control. The mite is a small microscopic bug that is about mm, too small to see with the naked eye. You need a microscope really to see it, but it likes to feed on these young immature fruits and it will actually feed on that outer rind material. As that fruit grows and expands all summer long and into the fall, those scars left behind by the mites become that bronze kind of rusty discoloration on our fruit. But when our fruits are this size, right at the marble stage, that's the perfect time to get some all season horticultural oil and spray the entire tree top to bottom. That'll control the mites, prevent them from feeding and causing the damage, and it's a great thing to do. It also controls a lot of our scale insects and white flies, so it's a good routine to get into. You wanna spray an all season horticultural oil because it's designed not to scorch the leaves on bright sunny days like today. You don't want to use a neem oil or any kind of non all season horticultural oil. So make sure you find that at your local garden center. You want to spray your tree once this month and again four weeks later with a final application in late June or early July. Past that, we won't need to spray for our mites to control them. For more information about growing citrus, including the citrus rust mite, please check out the LSU Ag Center website at www.lsuagcenter.com or the Louisiana Citrus Growers Association website at www.louisianacitrus.org. Both of them have great fact sheets about controlling the citrus rust mite and any other citrus pests you might see on your trees.